of the stuff, some of this I'd never heard of before joining this group, and then I think it was last December, and, and you said you knew Miss McMahon. She gave a presentation that you're doing tonight, and she talked a little bit about uh, some kind of arsenic-based food that, uh, feed additive that's added to the chickens feed to make them retain a pink color in the grocery store and uh, that she's convinced that food that the runoff from chicken operations and um, the chicken manure being spread on fields and actually I uh, even read I, when she said this I'm thinking no that can't be right but since then I've seen several articles uh, on the internet uh, that they even use the, the chicken manure in fertilizer that goes on crops in general. This is a chicken food, a vegan chicken, is what chicken is good for. I honestly am not sure that I, I know a lot more about this than you do. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have spoken with Ms. McCann in the past, I'm aware of some of the research that she's mm -hmm. done. And I will tell you that her concerns really were a great, one of the main instigators of why the study was done. Mm -hmm. So, so in, in, in a sense, though, it's that prolonged exposure of uh, you know, drinking water over a period of years and years and years that lead to, for example, uh, the increased tendency for a certain malignancy, which would come from something that you repetitively drink on a daily basis from a generally single source that you have to. Uh, and that's the reason for having a little bit of a for how it got there. The consensus of opinion of the geologists at the University of Georgia, uh, uh, and they, they were involved in the study, that this is naturally occurring, that it did not come from contamination. So that, that, that happened. Now, the other thing, and in, in a short presentation like you've given tonight, like Ms. McMahon gave, she had a slide that showed South Georgia, and she was not as I recall from memory, saying that it was the arsenic that caused this, I think that she was, she was not really clear on what the cause was, but it showed some clearly identifiable cluster, cancer clusters. And, um, right, and, and, and that really can be related to arsenic, possibly how it was caught. As I said, the one study in Thomas Hanks where we found the arsenic elevated, they did not find any increased rates of cancer to the organs that are not affected. If there are clusters, generally they are evaluated. And they're evaluated objectively uh, and unemotionally and you know, statistically. And I can only tell you that there are a lot of people out there that know a lot more than I do that have not been able to. Yeah. Okay. Were these findings in Thomasville all relatively close? They were. They were all in the small area. Okay. They were. Okay. And, and it showed they got a map in there. But you get on the site and blow it up, but you can see it. Uh, yeah. My understanding, and, and I, it, I'm rusty on reading all the correspondence uh, following. Janet McMahon's um, presentation. But I seem to remember that there was somebody at the CDC who had sort of confirmed that there was a concern. Do, do any of you remember that detail? Um, I, I believe the, she had a letter where they did a presentation in Washington State at a scientific conference that they said that there were detectable levels of uranium and arsenic in some of our city water systems. And her concern was that they would go to Washington State and make that information public in a scientific forum, but not put it out to the general public here in South Georgia. Uh, 
anybody remember anything different than that well, sum it up? He, he said in his presentation that there is occasionally naturally occurring uranium. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is and was in the lab. They had to drill, I think, three times before they got a well that had, was within the limits. Is that correct? Uh, the levels that have been detected that I'm aware of in the minutes. Detected but negative. Mm -hmm. And there, and I, I will tell you, the Department of Health Health was very close to the CDC. They, they, they interact they, with multiple issues. They don't have two separate. You know, they share that. Yeah, there, there's not many folks that drill water wells. So are you tight with those folks? Are you on the are on the tail? Or? Uh, what's the relationship? Type, type of the DPA folks or the CDC folks? The well The well the drillers. Uh, I'm not paying for them, no. Uh, my environmentalist knows that the fat way is allowed. He's the supervisor. We have 8 to 10. We have, no, we have no 13, 14 environmentalists in the county. The young men who are on the him, they are the ones who deal with them directly with the well drillers, where the site's going to go, where the going to go. Where the well placement is, and then the recommended that the water be used. So, there is, is there a permitting process before the drill? The permitting process. And, and, you, all, have have and you all are involved in that? We are involved in that. And then, and it's such a thing also. Right, and then, and then after the fact, then the, the testing to confirm that what they got is okay. The testing would be up to the party. I understand, not but a not a requirement. Oh. To the Does it need to be? Well, my recommendation to the EPA is that every new well, the owner should have it on the test. I think so. Not a requirement. Test it every three years. Not a requirement. Not a law. Not a policy. Not a rule. Not a regulation. But they can be for um, irrigation, not just for household use. Right. When you drill. Of course, there you're talking about doing your food supply. So. We do not have any, we have no real connection with the food supply unless we find epidemiologically there will be a uh, occurrence of salmonella cases in Tipton, 8 or 10 or 12 or 15. We had in actually a county in our area in the last year about 50 citizens who went to a church event and had chicken and came down with salmonellosis, uh, about 50 of them. And it was a unregulated event because the legislature exempted church group and school groups. Really? Yeah. 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 We, we do not. They were exempted for it. Uh, so we, and we, uh, we cater up was a sort of a casual thing. We did not an official cater up. And we know where it came from and it went away issue and nobody was seriously uh not just like you no know, there were no fatalities right to that. But we did closely investigate and do when we see a cluster of illnesses, we have an epidemiologist on our staff who will start investigation of that as soon as two or three cases are reported or whatever it is, we will start it then. And she's very good and knows what she does. Well this is mostly good news. I'm sorry? This is mostly good news. Uh, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, I really looked at it, and I, I try to look at it very objectively. You know, mm -hmm. Without any bias whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Do we have a problem here that we need to really get out there? And, and the state looked at it very seriously, too, um, because they take complaints from citizens seriously. They need another reason. Well, that's part of the good news. People actually listened to Janet McCann and did some tests. That is correct. Mm -hmm. What, Speaking one of the things she claimed was that uh, you need to be testing your hot water um, because of the accumulation of the heavy metals and the You can test it, of course, at the town, hot or cold. Uh, uh, it, 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 that is really up to how, how you're testing this plant. Uh, I don't even specifically know. Most people actually just, that I'm aware of, just get a tap sample it's hard to run off and take it into the county, search it off, and they send it to the uh, lab. 